Good morning, it's 2.30 a.m. on Saturday morning. Today is the day of the Dover Champion of Champions swim race, which I'm going to be doing later. Um, but before that, I'm going to be doing a short night swim. So originally I was planning on doing this last weekend, but because of the weather, storm coming in and it being around full sight, um, unfortunately that was cancelled, so I had to make the decision to to get myself out of bed at half past two this morning. I'm just walking down now to the beach. Gonna do about an hour in the dark, um, back to bed for a few hours, and then back down here for the, the racing at 9 a.m. So here goes. So as you can see from the images, I'm not the only idiot who's out at three o'clock in the morning swimming in the dark. Um, a, a real large group of us from the Dover Channel Training Group. So. Um, out into the water, as you can see, everybody has to wear a green light on both their head and on the back of their costume. And I've got to say, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Absolutely loved every minute. There was something quite exciting about swimming out into the dark. So back to bed um, and then up for the race shortly. So the Champion of Champions is known on the circuit as one of the harder open water swim races, not necessarily because of the distance, but the fact that you're getting in and out of the water and the real challenge is to keep yourself warm in between the swims. So the format is a, a five mile, a three mile and a one mile. And then your position is taken by your aggregated time across the three races. What was also really great about this race was that I got to catch up with both Nicola and Larry, two people who I did my swim trek training course with in March, who are also swimming the channel this year as well. So, so that was great. Um, also great that I had my whole support crew there. So Emma and the girls, Lauren and Sophie, and also mum and dad, which, um, which is really great when I'm doing things like this. So overall, I felt I had a, a really solid day. Didn't really feel um, too bad in the cold. Felt consistent all day. Um, I actually felt a little disappointed when I first got out looking at some of my times and splits feeling that I perhaps could have gone a bit quicker but overall when I, I kind of stepped back and thought about the fact that I'd been up since 3am not really slept much in the last 24 hours and the, the general volume of training I've been doing um, actually made me realise I'd, I'd had a really good day out a really good training session and, and ultimately should be really happy with my 10th position so on to the next session.